Hey my angel. So this is gonna be like my second weekly update on my skin. I'm actually at work. I'm doing night shift and I just thought, you know what, now is the perfect time for me to get a filament because I just haven't had any time this week to literally create like content or like schedule my um content for a different day. So I thought, you know something, I'm gonna literally come on and just do it now while I have like loads of time to fill you guys in, to keep you updated on the crack and to keep you updated on this. So wait for it. The lighting wouldn't be that great in here now. I've literally got like a lamp. Um, unless I set it here, it's gonna move here down. But it's all good. My skin video to share with you all that I was meant to be keeping updated results um but obviously i think i did like once and then i completely didn't but it's all good so basically i went from my last video that i kind of updated you on um i was in extreme pain i was crying myself to sleep it was so mentally exhausting and draining it was getting to the stage like where I was having to get my partner's mum to like really help me with my son because I physically couldn't get out of bed and my um skin like I was just crying like I could barely move like I couldn't even move my shoulder like that it was brutal so it was and I was like this is not fair like my child shouldn't have to suffer because of this like i should be able to look after my own child do you know what i mean not the fact that i wasn't looking after him of course i was but you know all i wanted to do was stay in bed because that was the place where i wasn't in pain and every time i went to sleep i wasn't in pain when i was sleeping so i was like do you know what i'm just gonna go to sleep because it's too sore to be awake so i'm so glad to be back in a position now where i'm like i'm grand it's not completely away it's getting there it has scarred um but i'm in a position now where i'm like me and caden are doing like we crafts for halloween in the house and we're doing all that sort of stuff it's great like painting pumpkins and doing all that stuff that you know mo mother and son should be doing and i'm just so grateful for him and blessed like i would be lost without my child honestly he is just everything to me honestly but um I'm just so glad to be in that position where I'm literally like just experiencing life with him, you know. Um, so I'm so glad and obviously my partner isn't having to listen to dung from me because every day is like complaining session with me and me and him he's like another day complaining and I'm like, Yeah, literally like if you're so itchy you will complain, like now I am itching now but do you know why that is because I was so bad and once I get you caught up on the info right I started sneaking takeaways back into my diet which I should not have done and um yeah so I had a PG chips tonight before work I had cold bites and chips and I was like eating everything gluten free last week so i was eating everything gluten free like i wasn't having any allergies like i was eating like all foods allergy free and now all of a sudden that i've ate like the you know the chips that aren't gluten free and the cod bites my skin is away mad like on my arms and stuff you can kind of see there they're away mad again and that's do you know what that's solely down to food it is solely down to food. Just to get you updated because I'm wild for like blabbing on. Like honestly, like just have me to shut up, it's fine. So like basically I was, went to the doctor. So last week after my video with you guys, I think it was a Tuesday, I think. Um, I went to the doctors the next day and showed them my shoulder. I broke down crying at the doctors because I was like just looking them to understand how physically draining it was in me. And how much I just could not stick this anymore. And um, the doctor was like, they had did my bloods. And they were like, Emily, like your bloods have came back fine. Like there's nothing that we can see that's like disrupting, like whatever's going on. 
because obviously I took cholestatus in my first pregnancy, which is, remember I was saying, the ICP, the attacking of the liver, and I got them levels checked. I got my bile levels checked and my liver function checked and they were all fine. So it's not that, she said, it's not that yet. So possibly I could still get that. I could still get this ICP. I could still literally get it. But it hasn't came yet. So fingers crossed, I don't get it, but who would know? And um, that was fine. Um, I was like, right, well, like, is there anything else that I can do? Because I generally can't, like, I can't cope with it. So I had asked for it to be wrapped. I was like, can I get this covered? Because I'm not even giving it enough time to heal. Like, I'm constantly itching, itching, whatever. And she was like, I don't want to cover that because it's going to get infected. And all this here. And I was like, no, no, like, you don't, you don't understand. Like, I will scrape this. Like, it has to be covered. So she didn't want me to cover it. But I went and got it covered anyway. She didn't give me nothing. She only she gave me antibiotics, which I never took because why would I ever take an antibiotics when I don't have an infection? I don't understand that. I don't understand why doctors are like flinging out antibiotics like they're sweets. I'm like, you would need to find out if there was an infection. And even if there was an infection, I wouldn't be taking antibiotics because I am very like much so down the natural route. Um, and I just don't believe antibiotics help at all, to be quite honest. Um, but that's for another day. So, um, that's fine. I was like, I'm not taking them. They gave me a moisturizer, which I used. It was like Citroen or something. And then they gave me Dermacool. Um, and she told me to put it in the fridge so it would be nice and cool on like all my skin. Like me not even gathering that the Dermacool burns the hell out of your skin, right? So this is a video that I'm gonna show you, right? So, anyways, that was fine. Went and got my prescription changed. Um, and then I went home, like, basically no better. So I think it was, was it that evening? Yeah, it was that evening. About half four, I couldn't stick it. I was itching it again. And I goes gnawing in the treatment room. So I went into the treatment room and I says to them, can you stress this for me? Like, it needs to be covered. I can't, I can't have it. Like, it needs to be covered. And she was like, right, they hemmed and had about covering it. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Like, imagine asking me how are they going to do it. They're the ones that's there to do it. So they covered it anyway. It only stayed on for like a day. But trust me, it was the best, like, relief that I had got. Like, it only stayed on for a day, but I was able to sleep 100% because it was covered. And I was able to, like, move about. I was able to, like, not worry about it because it wasn't, like, sticking to my close do you know what I mean it wasn't sticking like I, you know the way in the last video you could see it like I had a kind of like I was like having to be like that but anyways so that was okay and it came off that following evening and I was gonna go straight back in and get it dressed again because I was gonna go in and say look this has come off can you redress it because like I can't have it out but I think that was like all in my head type thing i was like you know no 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 i can't be out i can't be out because i was so afraid of not having the willpower to not itch it because if it was sitting there and i started getting itchy i would be scraping on it and i was like i am not ruining my progress like i have had progress with it being like crusted up and stuff i am not ruining it like no i can't go back there so i had eliminated all the crap out of my diet i had not taking anything with allergens at all it was literally a fruit and veg diet that i was on i was eating gluten-free chips so my dinner like so i'll just give you a wee info on my day right so for breakfast i had like two apples i had grapes i had strawberries um then i had what else did i have that was it wasn't it i did drink juice i drank juice I'm so bad drinking water, but I drank juice. And, um, I don't know how much. Why did I just think about my water? I have not drank any yet. I need a drink. So, I did drink juice. And then for dinner, do you know what I had? Gluten free chips. 
that's all I had. I didn't have no sauces. I had none of that. So this is what's making me think it's definitely an allergy. Well, not an allergy. An allergy is a bit of an over exaggeration. Like allergies are like really life threatening. But I mean like an intolerance. It's an intolerance to something. It definitely is an intolerance. So what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna have to go for food intolerance testing. Let me just see what that is, because I'm only realizing. What is that? Hold on. That's the back of my arm. I don't know why that's like that. I have to be very careful because I'm not wearing a bra. So I'm like, because I just feel it's so much better not wearing one. Because I'm like, night shift. I just go, you know what I mean? But I go off everything so easily. Basically, um, it's an intolerance to something. So I do need to go and get intolerance testing done, which I have not even booked yet, but I need to make that a priority for myself. I know I do. For my own mental health, like, and for my own health, hello. Like, I'm so bad. Like, do you all know something, right? Usually like everyone that I can sit and vent to. Basically, does anyone else not feel really crap about their health? Like about the, the crap they're putting in, like you're putting into your body. Like I'm sitting thinking, when I have a takeaway, like I had a takeaway the night and I'm sitting thinking that was so bad for me to do that. Why did I do that? Why did I put takeaway into my body? I need to prolong my health for my children. This is what I keep thinking of. And I think that's because I'm looking at the world and I'm seeing everyone dying and I'm seeing everyone have illnesses and I need to get this out of my head. I need to like reprogram my head because that's all I'm thinking about and it's brutal. It is actually brutal. I'm like, no. Mm. I'm like, I have to be healthy. I am healthy. I'm going to stay healthy. I need pills of fruit, even though eating pills of fruit is bad for you. Like, do you know what I mean? But I do need to make a change on my diet. Like, do you want to know something? See that last week, like last week, when I did that change of my diet, I never felt better. Like, I will be honest with you. From that week that I just did no bread. So, there was no bread. There was, so, <laughs> I'm trying to return it here. There was no dairy. There was no gluten. There was no sugar. And obviously no alcohol felt better in that whole week let me tell you i had so much energy i had loads of energy now like when i say I had loads of, of energy not like with me eating like my diet before this was like sausage rolls potato bread sausages like real bad fried foods every day chocolate for breakfast like really bad right and um, I felt real groggy, like tired all the time, wanting to go to bed. Like I never had energy, I never had the motivation to get up and go. Do you see that whole week I had fruit and vegetables? Oh, carrots and broccoli is what I had as well, along with my gluten-free chips. Pardon me. Do you see that whole week? I was up, I hoovered the whole house. I mopped my floors every single day. Me and Caden were playing, we were out and about, we were making crafts, we were doing this, doing that, and I did not feel the, I did not feel the urge to once go down and lie in bed and sleep, which I normally would, and I was just on go mode all the time. I was like, go, 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 whereas before I was like, I can't be bothered, I'm just going to sit here. Like, the difference between eating crap and eating good is shocking, like, I'm not joking, I just actually can't believe how big of a like toll it takes in your body like it's mad I will say that like but then that whole week that I was eating like that so this is my skin now like there's some difference from the last video that I did on my skin and I'll just show you that is it. So as you can see, 
up here is all cleared it's still red but it's all cleared and there is still wee bits there but they're all crusted over and i'm still obviously applying cream on that you know like at the back and stuff there like isn't that amazing and like i'm sitting thinking like basically what i used um i used a dermacool which i kept in the fridge and i like so basically i think these things really help me for one i am covering it until it like scabbed over was like a lifesaver for me because i wasn't given it time to heal dermacool i was applying the dermacool um once a day because trust me once a day was enough when it was burning like hell and I know I'm gonna have a lot of judges here and a lot of um, haters, but I used a steroid cream as well. Um, I only used a wee bit. It was only 1% of hydrocortisone and I had to use it. Like I had to use it. I maintain if I never used a steroid, that would be 10 times like worse. That would, that would not have cleared. Um, I was chatting to nurses and they were like, a steroid is the only thing that's going to clear that. And although I am pregnant, um, I know other people that have used it in the past and it hasn't done anything. Like I would never do anything to put my baby at risk. Like that's no, definitely not. Like I'm a mother and my babies are my life and like I would be lost without them. But I had to look after myself as well and I had to get that cleared. I don't think anyone understands the mental and physical torture of it, to be quite honest. And unless you're going through it yourself, like you're just not going to understand. Um, but I would never use anything like that unless I was desperate. And I was desperate, like I was in severe pain, like it was brutal. I was like, no, I shouldn't have to put up with this, like I should not have to deal with this. Mm. And I'm on the other side of it. I only used the steroid for two days and I only applied it twice a day. So like there was only tiny bit amounts going on, but um, I'm just so glad to be on the other side of it. Please, please don't come back, please. Like I'm just sitting thinking to myself, do you want to know something? But I need to get the intolerance test and done. Like I know I do. It's something that I've at that I can't think of because I did keep a food diary and I've slowly introduced wee bits and pieces into my diet. So like there in the night I had cod bites and chips. The chips weren't gluten free. I had barbecue sauce. So what, which one, like what has triggered me there to itch? You know, <laughs> I'm like what has triggered me to itch? The gluten? Probably. Um the bar like there's barley and like I think there's barley in some of the things and I thought it was barley that I was like kind of intolerant to because I wasn't able to have brown sauce I wasn't able to have rich tea biscuits because there's barley in rich tea biscuits and I wasn't able to have any of that sort of stuff and then I introduced eggs don't think it's the eggs but then I was having a wee munch there yesterday as well and I was eating friggin milky ways and just stuff that I shouldn't have been eating like to be to be honest I might be intolerant but I still think you can have wee bits and pieces in moderation like I'm not saying you have to can't like you have to ugh, I can't speak tonight I don't know what's wrong with me I'm like you don't have to cut every single thing out of your diet but the way that I was eating like I was eating crap every day like obviously it wasn't gonna be good and like um do you hear me itching like i'm like an itchy like do you see them like this is me going off topic again do you see me not itching there for that week i was a different girl i was a different woman i was a different emily because i was not itching for a week and nobody was having to hear Oh, I'm itchy, I'm itchy, I'm itchy, I'm itchy, I'm itchy. Like, I was not itchy. Like, I don't think I understands. Like, I was friggin' loving life. I was living my best life, no harm. I could have been doing wonderful things. Uh, not itching. I wish, like, and 
I'm telling you, I will. Itching takes over your life. It's like, I swear to God, no. I have to not itch. And do you say if that means having to cut out all that stuff, I will. Watch me, I will. Because don't get me wrong, I love all that stuff, obviously. But it's not worth it. Like, it's just not worth it. And I sit and think to myself, like, I can have it in moderation. Like, I am allowed to have it once a week. Like, eat your biscuits and you can eat your chocolate and you can eat your takeaways. But literally limited to once a week. Like, your body wasn't made to take all that crap and, and especially every single day of the week. Like, you know, every day of the week eating a hump of crap is going to really damage your body. And now that I'm older, I'm only coming to realise that nutrition is so important. I would never have been like that when I was a teenager. Like, I remember literally drinking bottles and bottles of Lucozade, like, one after another. And I'm sitting going, like, that would turn my stomach now. I'll keep you all updated on my skin, but... um. And, like, if I take any flare-outs, if I, like, if I hopefully touch wood touch wood it does not happen again but i'm gonna let you know how i'm dealing with this and how just how everything's going whenever i book my intolerance test and appointment i will take you guys with me um so that won't probably be this month i'm getting ready for um i'm stocking up on christmas presents and Personally, I know that my health obviously is a priority, but I'm like my child comes first. Like I have to buy, um, I have to buy all his presents and stuff. Me and his daddy, so um, that comes first in my eyes. Okay, <laughs> but um, yeah, I will get that sorted, and I'll take you guys with me, and um, let you see how I get on and what results come out of it. And then at least whenever I get my intolerance testing done, at least I know what to stay away from. Like, at least I'm not going to be like sitting here and I'm telling you guys and I'm like, what am I allergic to? Or what am I intolerant to? And I'm like, is it chocolate? Is it crisps? Is it bread? Is it this? Is it that? Is it blue? Is it red? Is it green? Like, because I don't even know what I can and can't have. I don't know what I can eat. I don't know if it's going to react with me. I don't know until it's ingested in my body and then I go on fire. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. Mm. I'm eating things at the moment and like, mm, please don't please, please don't take me out. Like I had a like I know Maltesers don't agree with me at all. Because I had Maltesers and my skin went on fire, but then I'm like like I had a Milky Way and didn't, so I'm like you know whenever your body is just like going through like really high inflammation levels i'm thinking my body would be like not completely cleared out but my body would be not as bad because i've been eating fruit and vegetables and i haven't had all that in a week so the inflammation levels in my body would be down and then if i took like one of them it's not that bad because it's in moderation but then if I add a full packet of them, my whole body will come out in a rash. That's what I'm thinking. Mm. I could be here all day thinking about this. And you're just like, Emily, come on, you need to go and get intolerance tested. I know, I know, I know. And pr I promise you guys, I am going. But just not yet. So keep an eye out for that because I will be taking these with me and showing you like what she's doing and stuff like that. But yeah um that is the crack and i'm trying to think have i anything else to update you on pregnancy video maybe i should have started at the very start i'm now i'll nearly be seven months pregnant imagine and i'm due in december so that will be more exciting vlogs and everything like that there so i'm going to link my socials down below and always remember to like and subscribe if you like what you were seeing and um yeah 
so I'm trying to like think in my head have I missed anything I'm like have I missed anything I know there's not much I can I can hear noises I know there's not much like kind of vibing going on there but I've just kind of just been on in the past week and that's just what's been going on in the past week literally um, oh, I had actually my urine tested when I was at my midwife appointment and protein came up on it. So then I was like thinking, I wonder is that something to do with why I'm itching or why my body's itching? But I don't know because I haven't heard tell of them, so it must be fine. But mm -hmm. I will keep you all in the loop and I'll see you later. Bye, see you in the next video.